everybody. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I got my new Lawn Fawn stamps in. I'm so excited. I had pre-ordered these in January from Simon Says Stamp, and I had been seeing everybody get theirs in, and mine still hadn't been shipped, so I was waiting so patiently, and finally I got them yesterday, so I just wanted to share with you guys. Um, they are so, so cute. I absolutely love this release. Um, so I'll show you. I got the paper pad, so I'll show that first. Um, most of you have probably seen this. This is the Let's Poke a Me, and it's similar to their, um, their Let's Poke a collection that they had last year, which I absolutely loved. So as soon as I saw they had this, I had to grab it, and I'm actually going to go order another one because I can see myself using this a ton. So I'll just flip through the pages. They are single-sided. You get the little hearts and stripes for each of these cute little ice creamy pastel colors. And then you get the little dots and the big dots. And that um, you get two of each of the papers. And as you can see, I've already started using this paper pad. So you get 36 sheets. And then the very first stamp I picked up is this one, and it's called Wheelie Like You. And you get this super cute little gerbil. He is so, so cute. I think this is going to make some really cute stamps. So that is one of the smaller ones. And um, then I got this one, and it is called um, Year 5. So this is their Year 5 birthday stamp. They have one that comes out, I believe, every year. And he is so cute. There is really cute YouTube videos of otters, if you Google it. And when they sleep, they hold hands so they don't get separated, which is just adorable. So I'm definitely going to be trying to make a cute little card with these little guys holding hands. And these are super cute because just the way his hands are, you can stick so much stuff in there. Like, um... Obviously, you can put the little present there, but I think you could have him holding balloons, and you could just have him holding so many things. So I'm really excited to play with this one. And then the next one is my absolute favorite from the collection. This one's called Baked with Love, and I absolutely love baking, so this was like a must-have stamp and as you can see I have already been playing with this one it's colored up a little bit um, stained already from my stamps the bowl and the mixer but oh my gosh I had so much fun playing with these little mixers and bowls I cannot wait to use this this is perfect for cards and for project life and I also stamped out a ton of these because I'm gonna color them up and for my planner I can add them in I had bought in some stickers from Lil Lily Henry off of Etsy and they were little mixers and now I don't need to do to buy any more of them because I can just make my own and um, I can make them cute with paper piecing so that's going to be a ton of fun. So um, this one you get three sentiments, baked with love, have a sweet birthday, and you are all I need. And I've already um, started coloring it up so at the end of the video I'll show you some of the what the little page that I have been working on so far. Actually I can just show you guys right now because all that's on it is from this collection. So this is what I've been playing with so far. I stamped out a ton of these little mixers and I paper pieced them. So I just took, this one's my favorite, I just took some older doodlebug line which is love bug and I found this super super cute little cherry um, paper and I save all of my scraps even if they're just like super tiny because look how perfect this this little piece turned out and it was just from the tiniest little scrap so I made a ton of these mixers because I'm going to use these for my project life I made a cute little Easter one with some doodlebug Easter paper and then this one I made kind of like um, Valentine's Day and then these three here I used with that um, new paper pad I just showed the polka the let's polka and then um, I just made some sweet bowls like this is so cute in the summer we go to the market and I know we'll buy cherries so even just like a nice picture of our kitchen table with the cherries on it would be so sweet and I'll put that little bowl and then um, this these are also doodle bug and I stamped these ones out I'm gonna color them today but um, and then I have some more bowls up here and like the possibilities are endless like I just think for Easter baking I'll use some super cute Easter paper piecing or for Valentine's Day um, for Christmas if you have like a small paper with snowflakes or holly berries like it just makes your stamp so versatile I'm so excited to play with this one so that's my little share of that um and then the next stamp that I grabbed is this one. It's called Let's Play. This is another super cute one. That swing, like, oh my goodness, <laughs> you can put all these cute little critters sitting on it. And I just think that's so cute. And this little teeter-totter, um, such a cute stamp. I love this one. And then the next one that I picked up is Gleeful Gardens. And the little sentiment, I love you so much, is so cute. And I love the snail mail because I love sending, you know, happy mail and rack packages. So um, this is super cute. 
And then the next one that I picked up is Extra Special Easter. And I absolutely love Easter. It is my favorite holiday. And so this stamp set was another must-have on my list. This little cute Easter bunny, his ear is missing. And you get this little smiley face. So I just think how cute is that to put on all the jelly beans or to put on the little eggs. And again, um, I haven't played with this stamp set yet. But when I do, I am totally going to be paper piecing this bunny, the eggs, the flower, and the jelly beans. There are so many cute... Um, pieces of scraps that I have with really tiny patterns on it so that'll be perfect for that so I grabbed that one and then the next one is this one called best pun ever I almost didn't get this one but um, my father-in-law and my dad do, do a lot of favors for us so and I find it hard to make like more masculine cards so I thought this was a good one because um, you can make the sentiments um, you are the coolest dad and use the fan or you could even use the popsicles and then you can put you are fantastic and use the fan or you are the greatest and so I thought that was really um, neat and also I love tea so I thought for my planner especially I can um, stamp these out and when I'm having tea parties um, I'll be able to put that so I grabbed that one and then the next one I grabbed is called scripty sayings and this is a gorgeous stamp set these are really nice sentiments and I just love how they have that little um, like the little doodle there so you get hello you congratulations happy birthday to you thank you with love and sympathy get well soon I love you and thinking about you and I think these would be super cute to use as strings like on um, a balloon so if you have a balloon stamp or a die then you can add this cute little string to it so those are super cute also I think um, this um, baking one this little piping bag which is like what how you pipe out the icing you could just have that piping out any of these super cute sentiments so you could have like a mixer with like a birthday cake on the stand and then you could have that little um icing bag piping out um I love you or any of these super cute sentiments so that was another must stamp and then the last one that I grabbed is called flirty frames and I don't have a die cut machine like um like a like a big shot or anything like that. So um, I really want to get one, but um, until I get a big shot, um, I think that these are really cute to kind of um, cut out and use kind of as like a die cut for more, um, um, just for more dimension on my cards and my layout. So these are really cute. And I've seen a ton of cute cards made with these where you can put all the different cute critters peeking. And I have a little stamp set from Mama Elephant. And I think it's called No Peeking. And there's these three little winter animals kind of like peeking around the corner. And so those guys are totally going in these frames. So that is my stamp share. I will definitely be back with a ton of shares from these stamps because... Um, my husband has the week off, so we are going to be catching up on a lot of shows, and we have movies to watch, and so um, I'll definitely be finishing coloring these up and adding these to some cute cards, so um, I'm playing with all of my other stamps, so I should have a pretty good share to show you guys with those. So I just wanted to share. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day. Bye now.